beautiful little car is a GR Yaris. Easily one of my absolute favorite cars of the last few years. It's incredible. However, it has one significant problem. And as you've seen in the title, it's the engine. But I'm not going to sit here and bash this incredible three-cylinder engine. One of the most powerful cars to exist per cylinder. <laughs> but ultimately, it would be so much better with a 2J in it. Or would it? That's kind of the question. And there's also another car as well, which we'll talk a little bit later, but there's going to be a RCF with a double 16. So currently, our GI Yaris sounds a little bit like this. It sounds throaty, but very puny. It actually sounds really sick. <laughs> I really... I really want to go in one, but I didn't want to ruin this car because I genuinely love the GIRS as it is, and I want a point of comparison. So it kind of makes sense to go to the dealership and purchase a new one for only 45 grand. In Gran Turismo money, that is nothing. We'll go for the red because it just looks beautiful. So we're going to have something so ridiculous <laughs> with this little GIRS that it's so torque steery that it's just planted the whole damn time, all wheel drive but with a 2J. I kind of wanted to do some crazy engine swaps. Normally we do less crazy, like sensible. This is a little bit mental. <laughs> Let's head to the GT Auto and click on the engine swap. 2JZ GTE Supra. Now we go up in weight, but the displacement, well, it doubles. The cylinders, they double. There's no question. A GR86, a GT86 would be perfect with this engine. This is stupid. This is nonsensical. Why would you do such a thing to this poor GI Yaris? It is not deserving of it, but this is probably one of the most affordable things you can do to this car, like to, to a car in this game, essentially. This only costs 300,000. You can buy the car and swap the engine at the same time. I really wish swapping an M3 GTR. I just skipped it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, and while we're here, why not throw a, a, a wide body on there as well? I've got one that's got the wide body. You've already done the visual modification stuff for the GR Yaris previously, but like, how could I not? This is ridiculous. Please, no one ever do this. This GR Yaris does not deserve it. So once again, the normal GR Yaris and this one. Why does it still sound rumbly? What the hell you do? Give me noise. Oh, <laughs> It sounds more tame. Give it some proper revs. Come on. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be sick. So throwing a 2J in there and kind of being done with it is not that exciting. The whole point of a 2J is that you can throw big power into this straight ultra high RPM turbo, bringing us to 500 horsepower. I don't actually know because I don't think I've built a 2J in a long time what the power is going to end up being. But if you think about it, the Super is very much capable all the time. 1,000 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower. I definitely haven't built it with the ultra high RPM. I also really want the hydraulic handbrake. This is just like the perfect car to be yanking. Let's do racing softs on there. I know, it's fine. It's the best tire. Why would I not <laughs> get that suspension on there? Let's see where we end up with this thing. 883 BHP. I kind of expected more, to be honest. However, it's in the Yaris. So, uh, this looks really wrong. <laughs> and I kind of want to do it. <laughs> it looks ridiculous with no tire to exist. Just to differentiate it. That's the only reason I'm doing this. And of course, putting all the splitters and customization on it. After I have installed the wide body kit. This wing is beautiful. And I'm going to keep the red. Because the red is stunning. And maybe remove that number plate. Looks better. Oh, and we need to look like a real race car. Roll cage, please. Don't forget the bonnet pins. <laughs> so I already did a lap with my last GR Yaris. So let's do one with this one. This was just a very quick run, but the GR Yaris did it in 207 with its standard engine. So have we either ruined or improved this GR Yaris? Let's find out. <laughs> Oh my god, it sounds amazing! Look, I promise you, I upgraded the brakes. What I did is I put the carbon ceramics with the upgraded pads. I bumped the speed to be capable of about 250 miles an hour. Because it is a 2J, we do also have the ability to use nitrous a little bit later. 250 might be too little. I... You know, maybe I did it. Maybe I did it good. 
about 2.30. At least for this track, it can't go that quick, can it? But here it is. Oh, we got the single exhaust pipe out the back. That is so sick. Oh, God. Well, that was very lucky. Now, one thing about the GR Yaris normally is that you can absolutely throw this car everywhere. The rotation is improved hugely, but just this little tiny thing. Oh, God. It sounds so beefy. It has no right sounding so beefy. <laughs> We're going to do more playing than this. Sending around a circuit, double the amount of cylinders. Obviously, it's going to be... Ridiculous, but I think no. We need to do some proper testing. Genuinely, I want to do some like launches and stuff with this thing. <laughs> it's gonna be an absolute monster. All wheel drive. Not even the super has it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I'm gonna hunt for you this. I want to get it correct because so far we are doing decent actually. Right? <laughs> it's so good! This is one of the craziest builds we've done. Of course, there was a Volkswagen Golf GTI that we threw. I don't even remember what's in it. But genuinely, it's actually only given us, on my first run in both cars, <laughs> three seconds. <laughs> three seconds difference between the original fully upgraded engine and this breaking late again so there you go your gi yaris is actually very 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 capable as it stands overall <laughs> let's freaking go it sounds mental <laughs> yeah, I, uh, this makes me want to, uh, uh, if it came with the option <laughs> to have the bigger engine, of course I would damn do it. But you know what, I'm, I'm not even going to sit here and say, ultimately, the GI Yaris, in terms of my times that I have tested, uh, it's actually very close to some of these crazy cars up here. These are capable of a hell of a lot more power. But uh, yeah, 883 horsepower, GI Yaris. Pretty nice. So I kind of wish Gran Turismo had a bit of a playground area, just an open, fake, made up space where you could just hoon and tune, like jump back and forth super quickly. Wouldn't that be incredible? Like think Forza Motorsport 5 had that airport airfield area. Something like that would be so nice, and I would love that. Please add that in a spec 3 update. Thank you very much, Polyphony Digital. So, let's... I want to see what the launch is going to be like. I want to play around with the Hydro. This car... I don't think it's going to break any top speed records, but I thought I'd break, bring it here for the sake of... I just can't get over how meaty this sounds. Hold the handbrake. And... <laughs> That is so fast! That is way, way too fast for a little car. The speedo is just 280. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. And we're sitting around 230 miles an hour before we've gone like, maybe slightly, slightly uphill. But there is one other place I really want to take this car before we move on. I have not used at all look how skinny the snow tires are <laughs> i have not used at all this new snow track and this is a rally car it makes total sense to partake in this challenge the competition is using things like a gto twin tub what anything goes basically they've done it proper the four-wheel drive 600 I, I am nowhere near 600 right i'm 650 <laughs> Whatever, let's do it. This location again, I've not tried it at all. It even let me keep the bloody NOS. That's really cool. Two Jay-Z in the snow. This is 
it feels a bit it feels just kind of more slippery sand <laughs> oh, i've got traction control on as well holding me just a little bit thank you very much much appreciated but we are going to go sideways past every <laughs> so this was the new track location that they added to the game i just never tried it because i didn't really think there was any vehicle from that i wanted to i play gran turismo basically to try out some cool cars do some racing sometimes <laughs> most of the time it's to try out cool cars and do some crazy engine swaps that's why we're here today you already know it boop, boop. <laughs> oh, i've got it ah there's a mazda 3 now if this video does it tickles your appetite please let me know down in the comments and by smashing that like button because there's something, there's something that you can do, and I very, very much would like to do that. So, this track, this course, I actually get a little bit sick <laughs> from playing Rally on Gran Turismo, especially in VR, but actually maybe a little bit just with the normal. So far, I'm happy to report that I don't have the same feeling so far with the, the snow. So maybe I'm a snow rallier. Excuse me. What? The jumps are epic. So, so epic. I forgot we also have NOS. What's my NOS button? I forget every time. Here we go. Give me a straight. Give me a straight. That'll do. Straight it off. Oh. <laughs> that was a mistake. Damn it. And the job is a good one. Take it over, AI. I want to see this thing slide a little bit in the snow. Don't slow down too much. That's, uh, man, that's pretty rubbish, mate. Give me money. I deserve it. Give me gold. I deserve it. And give me my... Ah, oh, close to the daily, I thought. Anyway, I promised you two cars. You, you already know what it is. The RCF with a Bugatti Chiron engine. Once again, taking a magnificent car that I miss very dearly, very, very much and doubling its capacity, uh, at least in terms of cylinders. Just in case those of you are new, I had an RCF and I said goodbye to it because uh, I've moved up to the Supra, I say up, uh, and then I went to the LC and now I have nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> I adore this thing very much still and I definitely, I think I, I would buy another one. I think I would. The, the car for the money is just, I sound like an old bloke. Anyway, we are doubling a lot we are going from max power to 400 to 1400 actually 1010 more as a standard we're going from na to turbo yep <laughs> this is stupid this is genuinely stupid now we have done the share and engine swap a couple of times we've done it to a few cars and in fact i think we have one of the fastest and built one of the fastest road cars in gran turismo with the corvette this time it's a <laughs> this time's a, a little bit more stupid. Right, so the Bugatti Chiron, let's get this straight. All-wheel drive, plants all the power down, and so it makes sense. Turns a bit like a pig, but the Corvette, thus being much lighter and having no front power, it was very, very, very fast. This is a fucking boat. <laughs> this is a boat. It should not have anything more than it does. You will die, okay? She likes to get squirrely. She's a, it's a Lexus with a V8. It's still one of the sexiest cars, I think, body lines wise for this like price range. Anywho, I thought we would remember my RCF and make it just stupidly quick. Like for example, adding this kit. This kit actually makes it look like the new RCF, which I also do quite like, but you can supercharge these ones. How does it look? It looks a bit naff to be honest. I'm gonna go for the, <laughs> the black. I never really liked the paint, paint code colored extra bits when it comes to cars like this. I think it looks a little bit naff, actually. Uh, so we can go for a little ducktail type A or B. One adds a roof and there's a big wing on the back, which I don't think that's gonna help anything, uh, if I'm totally honest, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> because why not? That is stupid. There is no tire left. I think I'm going to stay with the 19s. Here she is with the best color ever. I miss it. I genuinely miss having bright, colorful cars. It's so much more fun than just having boring. 
I need to wrap my car. Anywho, uh, there is a lot more power now, so I thought I would keep the tires and setup that we've got. All I've done is swap the engine, no modifications yet. And uh, basically put my phone on and see what it is. Full brake. This is a lot of power. Uh, Okay, five gears of just pure wheel spin. <laughs> let's uh, let's give that a go. Oh, it does go all the way to eight gears. It's like four, but it's like fake. Let's see if I can actually just drive this thing maybe normally. I, I think not. This is gonna be awful. <laughs> Just gonna, I'm gonna wheel spin every single gear. So the tires are gonna go on very, very quickly. But I did also notice that you can put the ultra high RPM turbos on. This is just stupid. Quite frankly, the dumbest thing. Because it's so tall, it just doesn't really make much sense <laughs> compared to the Corvette that we did a little bit before. This is a very Toyota episode, isn't it? Very Toyota. Oh, the noise. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be. We're gonna be having a lot of fun. Let's get on with it. Now, this car, I'm not expecting to have high top speed like the Corvette did. I'm not really expecting much at all, uh, if I'm completely honest. It almost weighs two tons as it is. It's not very light. She may be a fat pig, but she's my fat pig. And I love her. I love her with all my my soul. What's left of it. So, <laughs> so let's do what we need to do. Carbon ceramic brake. We need stopping power. Look. I did do it. Fully customizable suspension. I'm gonna slam this thing to the ground. It needs it. There's just there's just no way it's gonna work any other way. <laughs> it's a shame we can't do the anti-leg system. That would be that would be pretty nice. Bump that power up to 2,000 horsepower. And what we really, really need to do is reduce the weight. No matter how you look at it, modern cars are heavy. As, considering this has a V8 in it, I think it's, you know, a bit more of an exception, I would say. I would say, you know, as a previous owner of one. <laughs> but it's still a new car, so it's still pretty damn heavy. So what it's put me against is P1 GTRs. I didn't change the gearing. No, 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 no. We, no. <laughs> I might be mental, but that is something else. Valkyries, FXXKs, P1 GTRs. What the f Something ain't right. <laughs> Did I not put the transmission on? What have I done? Why? Let's try this again, shall we? Third time's the charm. Oh, oh my God, Christ. This... It's quite frankly putting me against race cars because it knows for a fact as soon as I get my my groove on, <laughs> they are going to be in the bin. It feels still quite heavy, even though I've done like weight reduction. I've nicened it up a little bit, but it still doesn't quite feel like a P1 GTR or an FXXK or a Valkyrie, for example. However, you get what you're given. You get what you're given. This is where I'm very, very interested. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. No! Hold it! I'm back! Let me turn up that traction. There's just... Uh, it's got to be done. Holy crap! 2, 30, 40, 50, 60. I've run out of gears. It's got less gears than standard, 280. <laughs> Move out of the way. Holy crap. <laughs> These are like professional racy boys. On a dead straight. <laughs> Aston Martin crap. Aston Martin. Valkyrie. I, so I'm pushing the brake. My brakes aren't good as yours, okay? It's fine. 
into first position. Just realized the wing is colored as well. I meant, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to make it black, but <laughs> what the hell is this car? I promised you stupid cars. Did I deliver? I, I, if you say no, you're lying. <laughs> I'm scared of it. I'm actually scared of it a little bit. Stop pushing me, you bloody... I saw you. I was smoother than you there. Do we have another straight? Do we... This'll do. <laughs> I eat Ferraris for breakfast! Get out of the way! I can just hear him buzzing away. Buzzing away. What the f You bastard! What was that? That is disgusting. There's no way. How you you Just because I'm a big un <laughs> No, it didn't work! <laughs> I thought I'd a random custom race it would let me do that. Third place. Speed and power, my friends, unfortunately in this case. Not the result. Not giving us the result that we want. If you would like to see more stupid builds, please smash like and check out the previous Gran Turismo videos. Please. <laughs>